Hey guys, Jason here. So I went ahead and pulled out a blade, um, and I was checking out how the uh, why they sent two blade hubs, but apparently, um, from the uh, instructions here, you're supposed to stack the blade hubs together. But even in the picture, you could see. I don't know if I like that, because uh, even in the picture, you could see a gap between the two blade hubs. So I don't know if I like that or not. It might rattle or something. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I was also trying to figure out uh, why uh, it's like why their uh, 10 blade hub is so small. It's like this is a Missouri Wind and Solar 11 blade. You can see it's all rusty because I had it sitting underneath the trailer, just laying around outside. Uh, but look, this is their 10 blade hub. And you can see how much smaller their 10 blade hub is than the Missouri Wind and Solar 11 blade hub. And I showed you the thickness already, so it doesn't matter. But look, uh, okay, here's a 5 blade hub Missouri Wind and Solar, 7 blade hub Missouri Wind and Solar. Um, this, their 10 blade hub, is even smaller than Missouri Wind and Solar, uh, 7 blade hub, and the Missouri Wind and Solar 5 blade hub. It's the same size as a seven blade hub, but but yeah, it's still it's smaller than that even. Now it's like, how do they do that? Because that's going to put the blades so close together that no wind's going to be really able to go through it. So I took the blade out and I laid it up here on top of a Raptor Generation Four, and you can see that their blades are a lot thinner and smaller. They're a lot smaller and thinner. See, this is hard. Yeah, let me turn on more light over here. There we go. But yeah, get that back ah, on it. Okay, now I'm holding it. There we go. But yeah, you can see how much thinner and smaller these blades are. Uh, so uh, that's why they can squish them so close together on their their blade hub because their blade is a lot smaller has a lot less surface area on it uh, than the Raptor Generation 4's do I don't know if that's good thing or bad thing I think uh, surface area is good thing I mean from the uh, all the other uh, uh, companies uh, you know just type in wind turbines on the internet or on eBay and uh, you know look at the blades on all the different uh, uh, turbines that are on eBay and you'll see that they're using a lot wider blades uh, wider blades seems to be better and also you know it's like a, all the videos almost all the videos I've seen on YouTube um, a lot of them that have thermodyne that show thermodyne a lot of them are using uh, different blades than what comes with it so I don't know if I'm going to use the 10 blade uh, stack it together blade hub or not I don't know I don't know if I really like like that idea I don't think that's as strong uh, as just one uh, So I don't know. Uh, I'll think about it. Um, so anyway, I just thought I'd show you that because uh, I've been reading the instructions about why they sent two blade hubs. Uh, I think that's that's kind of odd. Trying to just saying stack them together. I don't. I mean, you're going to get a gap between the two hubs. Because it says uh, right on it, you're not supposed to try uh, more than five foot pounds of torque. Tighten the bolts only five foot pounds of torque, or the blade uh, mounting handles will crack. They're talking about this part. Um, I know it's <laughs> with these ones over here. My Missouri Wind and Solar's over here. Uh, I've tightened those. <laughs> 
spill probably a lot more than five foot pounds of torque. I'd, most of the time I don't read the instructions. I just put it together. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, I don't know. I might just use my uh, nine blade Raptors. Um, I don't know. I know I got to clean my man cave. I see all the mess I got laid up here, especially after I just unboxed that thermodyne. Anyway, <laughs> all right, talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching and all that. And remember, this is just my opinions. Um, you might not agree with them, that's fine, but they're just my opinions. So, talk to you guys later.